Today's equation is 10 times 4,000 equals blank, 1,000 equals blank. Obviously, we need to find out these two areas right here. We gotta use the place value chart to answer this question. As you can see, I have four thousands underlined. So I have four thousands in the place value of thousands. So I'm gonna add four of those. So here's one, two, three, four. So I have four groups of a thousand. Within each group, I need to have 10. So within this group, I'm gonna add 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So within the first thousand, I have ten. I have ten within the first group. So this would be ten thousands. I need to do the same thing for the second group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's my second group. So now I have 10,000, 20,000. I need to repeat, repeat the same steps for the uh, third group. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have three groups of a thousand. So I have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Now I have one more group, and this would be, the, I will do the same step. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This concludes my fourth group of the thousands. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40 thousands. So four groups of a thousand with a multiple of 10 in each group makes 40,000. So I can read my equation. 10 times 4,000 is equal to 40,000. So now I need to find out 40,000 is equal to what? Let's go back to the place value group of the thousands. Within each group of 10, we have 10 thousands. So I can pull that over here into the 10 thousands and that makes one. Also, the second group is another 10 thousand. So I have two 10 thousands. The third group is another 10 thousand. So now that's three 10 thousands. The last group is also a 10,000. So I have four groups of 10,000. So I can conclude and say 10 times 4,000 is equal 40,000. And 40,000 is equal to four 10,000. So finalizing my equation, I have 10 times 4,000 is equal to 40,000 and 40,000 is equal to 4 10,000. Thank you. This one is a little different. We have a division sign. A lot of questions about this. So I'm going to take this slow. So here's our equation. We have four thousands divided by 10 equals how many hundreds divided by 10 equals the unknown. To solve the two unknowns, we're gonna use a place value chart. First, we need to represent four thousands on a place value chart and then change for smaller units so we can divide. So, what would our place value chart look like if I change each thousands to smaller units? To do that, I'm going to draw an arrow to the hundreds to make this into smaller units. So I have four thousands. One, two, three, four. And here I'm going to represent hundreds so it can equal to my four thousands. To do that, I'm going to add four groups like I did in the thousands. One, two, three, four. 
Now within each group in the hundreds, I'm going to add 10. So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is group number 1. In this first group, we have 10 hundreds is equal to 1,000. We're going to do the same thing for the second group. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the second group represents, we have 10 hundreds, 20 hundreds. So this hundred is also equivalent to two top thousands. We have the third group. We're going to do the same thing. Add 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the third group represents 30 hundreds. And the third group also represents three thousands. Same thing with the fourth group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The fourth group represents forty thousand. And this is the same as, and this is equivalent to four thousands. So what we have is forty hundreds is equal to 4,000. But we need to make this into smaller units. To do that, we're going to circle across to represent smaller units of the hundreds. So we have one group, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is four bundles of hundreds. So what this represents is that Four thousands divided by ten is equal to four hundreds. So we have this is four hundreds. So I'm going to write four hundreds right here. Because if I unbundle this, this will equal to forty hundreds is equal to four thousands. But when I bundle them, I bundle them by circling straight across. One, two, three, four. That makes four hundreds. So now we need to find out four hundreds divided by ten is equal to what? We can go back to where we started. Now we need to represent 400s on the place value chart and then make it into smaller units so we can divide. So I asked the question again, what would the place value chart look like if I change the hundreds to 10 smaller units within the tens? So here I'm going to draw an arrow and repeat, repeat the process. I have four groups of tens. One, two, three, four. And within each group, I'm going to add 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 groups of 10s is 100. So this is 10. 10s is 100. My second group is 1, 2, add 10 again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So this represents 20 tens. And we know that 20 tens is 200. So the next group, add 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this represents 30 tens. And 30 tens is 300. Last group, we add 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here, this represents 40 tens, which is 400. So to represent this into, make this in smaller units, we're going to have to bundle straight across. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 bundles of 4, and we know that we unbundle this, we have 40 tens, which is 400. So what we have now is 4 tens represents 400 divided by 10 is 4 tens. So let's look at this. 4 thousands divided by 10 is 400 bundle. 
And four hundredths divided by ten is equal to four tens. Four tens bundle to make smaller units. Thank you.